Welcome, my name is Robin Beta, and today I'm going to give you a demo of Rational Requirements Composer as part of the Collaborative Application Lifecycle Management Solution, or CALM for short. So let's begin with what is CALM. CALM improves the collaboration of the people in the various job roles across the application lifecycle. It does this by coordinating the activities of the software development lifecycle, specifically requirements, analysis, development, build and test, whilst enforcing a process and allowing reporting on that progress through the linking and traceability of artifacts used or produced by team members. So who are the team that we're going to use in this demo today? You'll see here that in BetaBank, the Agile team is consisting of many people. We're specifically going to look at Bob, Deirdre and Tanuj. These team members will actually be producing artifacts like release and iteration plans and work items, as well as collection of requirements and supporting references and test plans and test cases. And as the various team members work, they'll be actually making references from one artifact to the next, so that can be used by the next person in the application lifecycle. So who's doing what? You can see from here that Bob is responsible for the release planning and iteration planning, Deirdre is responsible for the requirements definition, and Tanuj the test and test planning. So what is the problem? The problem is that BetaBank has received complaints about the length of time it takes to open an account. Customers have closed their accounts and gone with a competitor. Bob, Deirdre and Marco have visited several branches and conducted interviews to understand the problem. They've captured their notes, looked at the process and looked at the customer issues. But they've also verified this with Patricia, a customer representative. In addition to this, Bob has configured the Calm project environment so that it's actually using uh, an IBM Practices for Agile Development. This provides process and work item templates to actually initiate the project with some existing material. He's then defined the release and iteration plan using these templates and assigned various tasks to the various members of the team. Specifically, Deirdre has the task to develop a technical vision. Let's now jump into the tools and see how this will work. What you'll see from this view of Rational Team Concept that actually Bob has actually defined two plans. There is an iteration plan and there is an account opening project plan that shows the overall release. Let's look now at the iteration plan. What you'll see here in this work breakdown view that Bob has actually assigned tasks to various people like Al, Deirdre, Marco, Tanuj and so on and specifically you know, provided them with tasks that they need to do. The one that we're interested in here is Deirdre. She has a task to develop a technical vision. Let's look at this technical vision now. As you'll see in this task that has been assigned to Deirdre of a high priority and is planned for iteration one with an estimation of one week and started on the January 11th. Bob has assigned this, but you'll see that the definition is define the vision for the future system, describe the problem and features based on stakeholder needs. You will also see that there is a link here that says about the detailed description. This is some process information that it provided with the templates that provides more about what is a technical vision. Let's go to and see that now. You'll see that in this process that they actually show some relationships, the purpose of the document, but also specifically the outputs, uh, a glossary, a storyboard and a vision document. You can see that from TAR 17, which is develop a technical vision, that we have some various tabs here. One of them is links. Let's look at the links. You'll see that we have a section here called Implements Requirement. These point to the various artifacts that exist in the Requirements Project. So we have one here for vision and one for thoughts and ideas. Let's have a look at thoughts and ideas first. You'll see that here in Rational Requirements Composer that we have a thoughts and ideas, which has basically been notes taken from the actual interviews, when the interviews was, who was involved, together with any pictures that may have been taken during the meeting and then actually recorded in the tool but also if there are specific requirements that we need to be compliant with and so on. So this is some basic information that has been gleaned during the interview process that we actually want to document. Also, as part of the process of developing a technical vision, it talked in terms of a glossary. You'll see that here that we have some hyperlinked uh, information that provides more information. And what these are are glossary terms that we have defined previously for account, um, plus what a customer is, you know, and any other types. Now this type of glossary can come from multiple places, including what we have here, which is an enterprise project. This is another project defined by another team of which we can leverage these type of glossary terms and you'll see some of the terms that we have defined here. And you'll see that we can actually use these terms in multiple places. So for instance, let's have a look at the account opening vision document. You'll see here that we have a template 
This template has a standard type of vision uh, description. It has here uh, some history information, an introduction as to what the problem may be. But you can see here, once again, we're using the same terms. So if we change any of the terms, they are actually reflected in all the places where it's used. But also one of the other artifacts it mentioned was, as in addition to the glossary term and having this vision document we have here, is the ability of actually having a storyboard. And you'll see here part of the solution we have is a storyboard. And Rational Requirements Compose allows us to navigate the various frames of this storyboard and to see this in place of the document. You'll see that as we enter the account information, the information is recorded here. If we step to the next frame, what happens if the account doesn't exist? There is an error message and maybe requested to re-enter the password. Uh, and then we continue until we can actually enter the account. And what you can see here on the right hand side is various links that we have. So you'll see here that we have a link to an, uh, an account so I can click on it and to navigate. You can see here we have an embedded story but also we here we have a customer engagement. But also we have some other links. So for instance we have one here that actually makes a reference back to the original work item. So task number 17 develop the technical vision. You'll see that this was created by Bob Deirdre is the owner, and once again you can see the priority and so on. So it allows us from Rational Requirements Composer to link back to that original task and to see in situ what is happening and maintaining the progress. And if we want to, we can actually open up the item in back originally in Rational Team Concept. Now, vision is just part of a set of artifacts, and what we have here in Rational Requirements Composer is something we call a collection. You'll see here that we have a process, a vision document, a storyboard, some actors, some you know screenshots and so on, and some related requirements that are all part of the solution for defining the account opening process. And if you remember, we can actually relate these collections back to test plans as well as iteration plans. Let's look how we may relate this to a test plan. So here you'll see that there's an option to actually link to this test plan. I have already done that, so let's have a look at the link that we already have established. You can see here that we have the test plan, and if I hover over, we can actually see which the test plan it is. Let's actually now go and open that actual item. So you can see here that the actual account opening test plan has been opened. And we have various information here, business objectives and so on. But specifically, we have one here called requirement collection links. Let's look at that now. You'll see that we actually have one set of collection here called account opening. And from this, we can actually select it and actually create a series of test cases. The test case has now been created. Let's have a look at how they may exist here. And you'll see here, we actually now have a list of test cases that have been created. Tanuj and his team can then use these created test cases to actually develop and improve on the test plan and to provide the validation and verification that's needed of the actual requirements. You'll see from this Rational Requirements Composer view here that we can actually see all the artifacts that were part of the requirement solution. We can also see the work item that was defined in the plan together with all the various test cases. And as we hover over the information, so we can actually see what is happening. One of the things we may want to actually do is to develop work items. So let's jump back to Bob. You'll see we're back in the iteration plan. And one of the things that Bob can actually do is to expand this add work item. So let's click that now. You'll see that we're presented with a list of collections. There are three collections in this account. The one we're interested in is the account opening solution. Let's choose that now. We are presented with a list of all the artifacts. Let's add them all. Specifically, uh, this initial sketch we're not interested in because we have a more full one here. So let's select that one and remove that. But let's now create work items for each of these artifacts. We now presented uh, some parameters that we can actually apply. Uh, we can apply them individually. I'm going to apply them to all. And you'll see that we've actually now created the various work items. They're all unassigned here. Bob and the other members of the team also have the ability to define a mashup uh, where we can see the progress of what's happening. So let's have a look at Rational Requirements Composer. You'll see here that Bob has his own view. Uh, this is on the website. But what he's actually done is to actually create some viewlets. There are some recent tasks which are here. There is the current state of the plans, any mapping with requirements development items. But you can also see what is actually happening in the various projects from Rational Requirements Composer. And what this allows us to do is to create in a single website various feeds where we can see the entire state of the project and customize this as we want this.
So I want to end here just saying thank you for your participation today and hope this has sort of given you a short idea of how you may be able to use Rational Requirements Composer 2.0 as part of a CALM solution. Thank you very much.